What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this week, or this video, what we're doing is working on the K20Z2. Um, Mercer sprayed a bunch of degreaser and off camera I've been scrubbing it down with this brush and everything. As you guys can see, a lot of it's been coming out. Cleaning up really nice. Uh, pretty much getting this engine and transmission prepped so we can do the high, high heat silver and then high heat black on like some of the bracket trees and whatnot. So our, our goal is to clean up the whole engine, get it looking fresh, like a brand new one. Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, like any used engine, they come pretty greasy. This one's been uh, not bad compared to some other engines, but uh, off camera, I've been tackling at that and uh, getting it closer to uh, rinsing down and then drying up and then uh, continuing the process where we can refresh in this whole uh, long block and transmission. So uh, that's what this video is pretty much going to be consisting. Uh, getting the Z2 to uh, pristine condition and ready for final drop in and then continue along with the, the swap. So I'm going to place you guys down. Um, I'm going to continue cleaning this off camera because I'm not going to bore you guys with uh, cleaning and degreasing. And once we uh, proceed with the next steps I will pick up the camera once again and uh, share the, uh, the the process with you guys all right boys a little update I've uh, been scrubbing like hell and spraying this chemical like the smell is actually giving me a headache because it's so potent but it's been doing a great job we got to hose down the engine now but as you guys can see a lot of gunk and grease and everything was removed uh, from the Z2 and it's coming along, coming along great. We're about to get ready to hose down the whole engine and transmission, so that way we can start the assembly of the new engine, and then paint, well, <clears throat> change like the timing chain tensioner, all the little things that you gotta do before you paint it, so we don't have to open it up after. And then uh, paint it, and then put all the dress up stuff on it afterwards, so. <clears throat> That's where we're looking at right now. Uh, Mercer is right down there. Got to take care of some technical uh, difficulties going on at the shop. Uh, as you can see, our music TV is not working because his internet crapped out on him. So he's been dealing with all that big Horrible. headache. Bell, you suck. Yeah, see, Bell, you suck. But that's where we're at right now. Like, it's a big difference from what we started before we started uh, degreasing everything. Uh, the same process that Kevin does on pretty much every brand new swap and engine build that he uh, customly does. He did it on the Spoonius one this summer. Uh, actually, a few times actually he did it because, you know, the mishaps we had. So now I guess we're ready to uh, give it a nice hose down. Uh, luckily, it's not a wet t-shirt contest <laughs> because this bitch would win. All right, good people of YouTube, here we go. We're washing down this dirty beep. We're gonna beep that out. But this dirty, dirty, dirty motor transmission. Wow, look at the difference already. Oh, did you gotcha before? Oh, I did. When you first uh, sprayed it before I scrubbed it down. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Well, when I was dealing with all the issues. Yes, yes. I didn't want to bore the audience with me scrubbing down the dirt. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, so I this. figured I'd pick it up when we get to the more exciting stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put a glass of what it's looking like. And we're going to dry it all out, guys. And then we're going to start assembly. Dry everything, assembly. And then after assembly, we're going to do painting. Painting, painting. painting is the best part. Picasso. We're getting closer and closer, guys. All right, boys. Now we're just blowing out all the water. Getting this thing nice and dry so that way we can start reassembling everything we have to assemble and then getting it ready for paint, prepping all the centers, masking off everything. So it's a little bit of a process, but the end result is always great. All right, boys, we have cleaned and dried up the tranny and the motor. Now Kevin's got his trusty Milwaukee. We got some coffees and some hot chocolates. Yeah, uh, man. It's shitty outside. It's uh. All that white stuff, and I don't mean the fun white stuff, is all, all over the place. So, uh, yeah. I had some fun with the V outside, getting some coffees. So, I'm going to have a fun drive home. 
You already know that? Yeah. I think totally someone good. else is going to have a fun drive home with their V. Oh, I always have fun. 100%. Okay, let's get this stuff. All right. We're going to put this engine on that engine stand. And then change out the things that need to be changed on it. And then lay some paint. And that will be it for tonight. But we'll carry on the vlog tomorrow when we start dressing up everything. And then Mercer finalizes putting everything back in the bay. That's the plan. That's the plan. All right, guys. So Mercer's assessing the timing chain tensioner. Um, just, even though it looks good, we're just gonna take the precaution, put a brand new OEM one. Uh, once we open it up, I'll give you guys the part number so you guys know to order one. Move the VTEC solenoid. The post mounts has been removed. The crank pulley. All right, boys. Mercer's just separating. The bolts from the timing chain cover. It's gonna pull it out so we can change that up. Make sure everything with the guides, oil pump guides, chain, everything is good. Better do it now before we have it all in the car. And yeah. if there's something that needs to be assessed, we can just take care of it right away. Uh, we do have the Type S pump from the old built motor. Maybe down the road in the summertime when we do the K tuner and all that, we can show you guys how to properly modify uh, this engine to put the type s oil pump yeah it's not a bad idea actually so i mean like it is there might as well reuse it all right guys so a little update we opened up the motor opened up the oil pan cleaned up everything we realized uh, we noticed that the oil pan has been opened before and they used the wrong uh, uh caulking or sealant they didn't use honda bond so we cleaned that all up Mercer cleaned up the whole inside of the the valve train and the oil pump area. Been cleaning the oil pan so that way we could put brand new Honda Bond on it. Uh, cleaning up the timing case so we could put brand new Honda Bond. We're gonna change out the, the tensioner on the motor and then start putting everything back together to get it ready for paint. Uh, so it, it's all coming together, it's all looking good. This thing's gonna look fresh. So, the base for where the oil pan goes, as you guys know, is all cleaned up. Mercer already has put the Honda Bond. Yeah, nice little bead. Nice little bead all the way around for a good seal. Gonna close it up. We inspected everything. We've made sure everything was good. It's all there. Everything's clean. No debris. No nothing. Uh, no need to like open this up. Everything was good with this motor. Mm -hmm. Uh, further plans later on, we're going to change this uh, pump into a tight pass pump. So, as of right now, open this guy up. Only reason we opened this guy up was because the RTV silicone that was here. Um, I pointed that out to Paul, told him, dude, let's open it up, inspect everything, get rid of that silicone, put some Honda Bond, close everything up. So, that's what we're doing. That's it. Let's clean this guy up, and then we got to clean this oil pan. Once more, some more cleaning. All right, guys. So, the engine is ready for paint, but we're not gonna lay anything down tonight. Uh, we gotta get some masking tape. Uh, we thought we had some, ran out. So in the morning, Kev's gonna make some stops. He's gonna get some masking tape. I'm gonna bring some stuff back to Rick and get some other things uh, that we need for the, the motor. In that meantime, and then when we come back, we'll lay some paint, let it dry up, dress up the motor, make everything, bing bam, and then put it in this beautiful machine. So uh, we're gonna cut it now, but pick up in the morning. So for, for you guys, it'll be like the next clip. So this is how the motor's looking, all fresh and clean. Pretty soon you're gonna see that nice extravagant silver on it, guys. Yeah, that's correct. Paint. Yeah, we've been literally listening to some music and you know cleaning up doing everything you know we've lost track of time it, it, it's a, it's a late one boys but we've just been vibing so this is a late one <sighs> yeah i hope you guys yeah. enjoyed this content man i really do i really hope you guys enjoy it. if you guys are enjoying this give it a thumbs up guys don't forget to hit that like on the videos bro it helps the algorithm a lot man but uh that's gonna be it for tonight we're gonna see you guys in the next clip and some more progression, boys.
All right, boys. Day two of prepping the engine. Mercer's been at work. Uh, what do you call it? Taping off all the sensors on the transmission. He had to drain it. We forgot that there was oil in it because uh, I remember we just grabbed it and we, you know, checked everything and put it in the machine room until it was ready for this day. So I went to Garage 16, I picked up some parts, I got the tensioner pulley that we needed, I ended up getting a new fuel rail because the one I had was not gonna work. It's the last time I ever tried to cheap out on anything. Uh, I, I'm probably saying that but lying. And then we had a surprise at the door today. We ordered a brand new transmission cooler and we got this big boy off Amazon. I'll put the link in my description below if, uh, so, to help you guys. Uh, this is a really good unit, this one. It's gonna keep the temps on that bad boy right there. Nice and cool, especially when we put the Terpski uh, next season. So, guys, the link will be in the description as, a, as always. And we're getting closer to laying some paint on this ba these bad boys. We got the Je uh, our homie Jesse hanging out today. Yeah. And then we got our boy Mercy. Yo, how fun was last night the drive home? Oh, it was awesome. Man. It was amazing, bro. I mean, it was. Oh, dude, I had a blast. Nothing like taking stability off on your CRV. And just like drifting around everybody for no reason. That's amazing. I love it. Yeah, TL snow takeovers. Oh <laughs> Alright boys, everything's masked up. Mercer's already giving its first base coat on the transmission side. Like I, I promise you guys, this is going to be fresh and we, we never disappoint. Fresh to die. Oh yeah, also, our boy Alto came clutch with some fucking amazing I don't know what sweets these are but they got caramel and some like farina like you know like, not the cocaina kind but the good kind thank you thank you it's so good that's why we're all fat yeah you don't get a sexy physique like this by eating healthy right <laughs> but no guys like just look at the transformation already just from laying some paint already on it mm. hey right, boys that's after the first coat, and as you guys can see, it's a big improvement already. The, the transmission just looks freaking fresh. I'm gonna show you guys exactly which paint we're using. We're using the v, uh, VHD caliber paint, drum and rotor, uh, it, the high heat. And look, it holds up to 900 Fahrenheit, 490 Celsius. This shit is proven, man. We've painted a lot of engines with it. No flaking, nothing, and it always stays fresh. So this is what we use to paint our engines and transmissions. And then we got the same thing but in black so we could do our mounts and some brackets so we're just, just going to clean up the the engine now and then put the valve cover on so we can start putting some paint on that one so Five minutes later. All right, guys. So I'm gonna start tackling the paint on the mounts. I already degreased them with some uh, brake and parts cleaner. Got it hanging off the tow hitch on, well, the tow hook from factory on the EL. And just gonna have it here. Give it a base coat of black. Uh, motors are in Chinese drying, so that way we can start assembling it. So it's coming along.
boys, I got all the mounts sprayed black. Letting them dry out now before we uh, put them back on the engine bay of the car. Mercer's already commenced on the valve lash. I believe that's all done. Yeah. Everything's looking valve good. Lash, uh, now he's starting. Those are the OEM specs. Right over there. That's the OEM specs of the Z2 for the valve lash. He's uh, beginning with the uh, reassembly of the engine. We just put our K2 and cooling housing on same as the k24a that we have i forgot that hose oh. but since i'm going to pick up the mishimoto um thermostat tomorrow i can just pick up that hose that we need so we'll be okay not too bad motor is looking really nice all right boys so kevin's changed the v tech no I always forget the name of this. Remember last time when we did the Spoonie Swans engine, I got that one wrong too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's it called again? It's the... Uh, VTC? No, that's oh. the VTC. Yeah, that's the, the VTC. Can, for, yeah, the VTEC filter screen thing. It's yeah. a screen, man. It's a filter. Okay? I always get it wrong. Don't come at me with that. And then, as you can see, our brand new OEM timing chain um, tensioner. Kevin has put Honda Bond on the casing. Everything's all painted. Uh, and we are going to complete the engine. Da 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 da. This Same beautiful oh, purple billet MPC hardware all around the engine, like phenomenal. This thing's gonna look really nice. Almost nicer than the Spoonius One's engine. We went with the old school Downstar, both with the Spoonius One back in the day. I've been wasting my time. I don't know why I can't get you out my mind Yeah So lost, where do I go? I was the chase, caught a flat on road It was all love, X no O I was feeling rich, but we turned out wrong Guess I let my feelings take control Guess I let my demons take the wheel Used to think that we be wrong I can't believe that it was real It was back in late December when I did I just wish I could forget Cause I hear how much I love it Oh, I hate how I just love to catch a feel Yeah I've been wasting my time Alright guys, so pretty much engine assembly is almost done We just gotta do the rear main seal still and then we got to take it off the engine stand, put the Florida torque converter into the transmission, and then marry the two of them, and then get ready to put it back in this bad boy. Mercer's done a phenomenal job with the paint, mounting everything back together, like the dress-up kit. Everything just looks so perfect on this motor. Titanium Garage 16 cover. Like, I think this gives the Spoonius One's engine, the Unit 24, a run for its money look-wise. Like, the camera does not do justice on the sparkles. That's right guys, this is a rare sight. Paul is working, he's doing that. It's actually giving me an auto somewhat of a chub. Yeah, it is, it is that. Enjoy. Boys, so we got the Florida torque converter over here. This uh, behemoth of a torque converter. Mercer's just uh, filling up about uh, a Canadian liter. To you guys would be a, a US quart. Yep. So that Can't way. Put it in dry. Yep. Because uh, when first start up, when you're running up everything to see how much you have to fill in the dipstick after. Uh, you don't want it to run dry and burn out the torque converter prematurely. Uh, I know a lot of people like to finish prematurely, but we don't like to finish prematurely here. We like a full session. So, uh, awesome. Kev's just putting uh, the, uh, uh, what's that little ring called again, Kev? What? That little ring, that one. I don't even know what this thing's called, dude. I don't know much about that, man. Okay, anyway, this ring goes in before the drive blade. <laughs>
Yeah, uh, like you, like Marcia said, we don't know much about automatics, but we're learning, learning with you and Google. Yep. But what I can tell you is, I've talked about the and they are automatic. You see how they say eighty? Yep. yep, eighty. They're fifty-four <clears throat> foot pounds of torque. Now, if you grab two of them side by side, you get AT and T. But I did promise you guys a beautiful looking K twenty, and guys, I I believe Mercer and I have. Delivered on this. This thing looks phenomenal. Alto, can we get your takes on this, bro? You've been uh, pretty uh, chill today, just vibing to the music you've been playing at the shop while we've been doing a lot of uh, beautiful work. I've been painting all the engine mounts and some bracketries and stuff and sanding a bunch of stuff for Mercer. So uh, we're like running a train, a two man train. It's not much of a train. But guys, I, I am super pumped, man. Uh, I can't wait to see it all painted and everything the way it is now back inside the bay because it's gonna look super dope inside this car, man. So essentially, why I was saying, see how they say peep, how they say AT, yep. the automatic. Mm -hmm. They are shorter than the manual ones. I'll show you a difference. Ooh, I did not know that they were shorter. Did you know they were shorter? Oh man, what's wrong, man? You want a hug, bro? Do I, do I need to pull my pants down and give you a hug? This is what a manual one looks like. Uh -huh. That's the same head. Except it's got same thickness, different. just longer. But there's our difference. Mm. Size yeah. does matter, boys. Size, Size does, does matter. matter. It does. So yeah, AT, mm -hmm. automatic. Keep that auto. Keep that auto. All right, guys. So Mercer's already filled up a liter or a quart in the U.S. Uh, on the torque converter. Uh, he. Install the torque converter. No, so there's three steps okay, on sorry. the torque converter when it goes in. So like when you put it in, make sure it goes in once, then you spin it, goes in the second time, spin it, and then it goes in the final time. So there's three steps. All right, um, we've changed the uh, um, rear main seal. We put a brand new one. We torqued all of our uh, um, drive plate bolts. And now we're gonna marry the transmission to the uh, motor and um, put in all our bolts and that's it it's ready to go that's what we're gonna do right now all right lift it Yep. Then with a the rubber mallet, you just give it a little tap on the backside to make sure it's popped in. And then two bolts to secure it. Give it a nice little tight, and then you do the rest like a manual transmission. All right, boys. So the engine is pretty much almost all there. Alternator is getting sent to uh, to get rebuilt tomorrow and freshened up. We just removed the subframe because uh, we had it back on, so the car was uh, mobile, so we can push it back and forth in the shop. So now we're gonna about get ready to roll the motor underneath the engine bay, lower the, the car slowly, and then line up the engine mounts and the transmission mount, bolt up the two sides, that way we can lift up the car again, place the subframe underneath and rear, uh, hook up the rear and front mount and the control arms, and the car will be uh, able to be mobile once again. So this is our goal for tonight, is just pretty much have it back in, and I think we're calling it a night at that point. Yep, we had a very very successful day. So you guys can see we already have some of the sensors on our knock sensors on um, Starters on picking up the thermostat tomorrow at uh, G16, but guys this engine It's like it, It's come such a long way man. Everything just flows so well. It looks magnificent. Kevin's really done a great job installing everything re reassembling everything painting everything like it looks super, super fresh. Our boy's still not saying nothing. Still not saying nothing, Mercer. He's still not saying nothing. There's our very old silent auto. Our very silent auto. I'm going to go adjust the engine. Reverse. Further back. Sorry? Further back. 
to Near Firewall. Yeah. Hold this. forget to lift it all the way. Just Hold keep that side there. Yeah, you're about to touch the trend there. Okay. Now. Okay. Bro, that was a full on elephant, bro. This guy did like full mid-air, like fan damn backwards split kick into a fart pop. That's nice, bro. That little badge right there is perfect. It's a nice little touch. Very nice. You just gotta finesse it in a bit. Boys, officially, we have a K-Series in the Mugen EL. It's on the two mounts. We're going to raise up the car and put the subframe underneath and bolt it all up. But, yeah, guys, take a look how beautiful this thing looks inside this bay. It's come a long way, eh, Otto? Mm -hmm. It's going to be... The rest of the winter is going to be more enjoyable now. Luckily, 24 more weeks. And then we have spring, and then summer, and then we can have all the cars out. All right, guys. Cars in the air. Just testing out the RBC manifold, seeing what we have to modify, if anything. But uh, it's in. It's officially in. The car is technically officially case swapped. Now we just got to do the rest of all the little miscellaneous things in the engine bay, running the fuel and all that stuff, which we're going to pick up from down there from when we had the D17, if you guys remember. We uh, upgraded the fuel last year, so that way we were prepared for this moment. So, yeah, Kevin's been doing a fantastic job as always. Also, has been holding it down, staying quiet, except for his rear ass. God damn it, uh, guys! It's awesome. Give the video a like. Give Kevin a thumbs up, bro. This guy's been doing a fantastic job, man. Show this guy some love. Looks great. Everything's uh, uh, coming out nice, man. Tomorrow we got a lot of stuff. Yep. We're gonna start doing the plumbing. Mm -hmm. All the electrical. That mess of a harness behind you. You want to clean that up a little bit. So we're gonna do that. That's tomorrow. Uh, along with all the plumbing. Along with some of the miscellaneous things that we're missing that Paul's picking up tomorrow. Correct. Um, so the engine bay is gonna be a little fuller tomorrow. Yeah. That's the plan. So. Yeah, yeah. One step closer to getting this thing started. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's looking look, good. It's looking really good. Like, I, I'm content. The valve car looks really good. Maybe the camera doesn't really... The, do the camera doesn't pick it up, man. Like, I mean, well, over here is not so bad. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can see that? The sparkle, it's actually really nice. In person, it's so much better. Can't wait to like the sunny days. Ash is going to love this thing. In sunny days, it's gonna be oh, yeah. nice. It's gonna pop. Oh, 100%. The black. I like all the little black. Like everything just flows together. Like everything just flows together, like inadvertently. Like it's just really nice. Yeah, it looks good. And it's like it. It's way back memory. So when, you know, a few years ago when we were under the knife with the Spoonius one rebuilding it. 
Yep. Like it's just, this is the mm. feeling, guys. This is that feeling I was having when we were rebuilding the Spoon ES1. It was, it was just a great ride, and it sucked that we didn't do YouTube, and I was a chicken shit to start YouTube back then. But you know, I'm glad that we can relive it, and you know, we're going to be helping a lot of people that want to keep it automatic. Yes, it's going to be quite a bit of work fabricating a mount, 100%. But if you have a guy like this guy who is willing to, to try it out and obviously can do it, then you guys, you know, you guys have the formula in this, in these videos, in this series. The one needs to be done, yeah. Along with like now the next videos being the wiring. Yes. Um, for the, uh, sorry, the automatic, um, electronic stuff. I feel like the cluster we kind of have it packed. I, I feel like we just follow the formula from the Spoonius one where we just, you know, we mesh the wires. Well, then we'll see like from there. Like I, I feel like in that sense, it might, like we might have that down packed. It's more like the shifter box. Like that's the wiring we have to figure out. Yeah, we don't know it. Dude, we're kind of going into this blind, so um, yeah. But um, I'm not worried, man. No, it's whatever. You know, it comes uh, whatever the challenge is. I'll always accept it, and uh, we'll fix it, and then we'll figure it out. So I'm looking forward to it. The next couple of videos, It'll be pretty dope. I think that's it for this one. Oh, this is it. We're done for tonight. Looks good. Uh, I'm happy. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Uh, now, all the fun stuff tomorrow. All the other miscellaneous stuff, like Kevin said, uh, I think Otto is going to be joining us tomorrow. No, Otto? Oh. It's Friday. It's Friday. Yeah, it's you Friday. have to, bro. I mean, it's Friday for us every day, but. Yeah, it's Friday for me. Every day. I mean, every day ends in Y for me, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys. Smash that like, comment, subscribe, share the content, guys. Share the content, share the videos. Go hit this guy up on Instagram. You know what I mean? Thanks guys. Show this guy some love. Give this guy a, a, a comment and a like in the in the comments, bro. Come on. Show this guy some love. This guy's been killing it, bro. Anyway. Oh, yeah, see you guys in the next vlog. Later guys. Peace. I'm not saying you just send it because we're not ready to send it yet. <laughs>